power of the people here on Del Marfa for a moment. You know, we share story after story of those who at times just need a little help. And it always amazes us to see how you, our viewers, step up and pitch in. Yes. So let's unite again. There's a, another family going through a rough time right now. You have an opportunity to rally around them and help them push right through it. Here to share their story are family friends Pam Price of Delmar and Shelly Whaley of Laurel Ladies. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank Thanks you. for having us. So tell us about your friend, Dave. Well, Dave just found out in June that he has um, an aggressive form of neck and throat cancer, mm -hmm. and he's having to go through an eight-week treatment at the Chicago uh, Cancer Center. Wow. And so he can't come home. His insurance doesn't cover the hotel stay um, or the flights back and forth um, when or he comes home. You know, and it doesn't cover anything mm -hmm. as far as that. So we um, thought that since his wife also has been diagnosed with stage four cancer, that we should come together as a community and show our support in this very trying time for what, our friends. What are their prognosis? Um, for Dave is, um, with this eight week aggressive treatment, um, they're saying it's 90% curable. Yeah. Um, so that is our hope that when he comes home that he will be cancer free. Um, Lori has had cancer for eight years and then was in remission, and three years ago, um, it was breast cancer, and then three years ago, it came back in her bones and her liver as oh. stage four. So it's... She um, flies back and forth for treatments there, too. Why? How are they getting be, through this? She can't be with them all the time. So, so how are they getting through this? How are they... It's, it, it's very tough. We've all... We have people that mail cards and send packages to Dave, um, so he gets something every day, yeah. and we all call and text, and he, he's worried about her, that her being forgotten, so he wants us all to take care of her while he's away, and she wants us all to take care of him and keep his spirits lifted. And they're newlyweds. Yes, yes. just got married in April. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so you decided to step in and help. What are you gonna do? Well, we have decided to do a benefit at the Laurel Legion this Saturday at four o'clock and it's food uh, music we're doing um, Chinese and live auction 50-50 uh, um, there'll be all kinds of giveaways and things to do there on Saturday a big sale table a big sale table mm -hmm. and we actually have one of the uh, giveaways oh, here and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, <I didn't. laughs> he was up here with me you just go you can come yeah, right right ahead, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren Hedge thank you so much <laughs> this little guy tell us about this little guy here he's a AKC registered chocolate lab mm -hmm. and he'll be on the live auction and so you won't want to miss it. There's some tickets left and you can be a part of the auction and get some of these cool, cool donations that we've been given. He's not and named yet. That's your job once you... Uh, yeah. He wants to see Jimmy. Oh. He, what he wants to do is he was playing over in the, you run? on the other set. And that's he what comes he wants with the kennel and he already has a bed. <laughs> <laughs> and that we just saw uh, the cornhole boards that you're giving away. There they are. Those are beautiful. People donated those to us. Uh huh. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, so it's this weekend, this 4 p.m. at the American Legion. That's in Laurel. Twenty-five dollars per person. Few food, music, and more. You know what? I'm okay, gonna what? let him go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, be free. Wants go to go play, play with Lauren. <laughs> He's Lauren so happy. and this puppy were running all over the studio just moments ago. So <laughs> this is why you need to come be in the audience. Exactly. And Thank of course, so we're gonna have all the information on yes. our website. It's a wonderful thing for you to do. Thank you. And please Thank give so Dave and Lori our love yes, for having absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Well, cancer is an insidious disease. It can strike someone without any known cause or cure, but there are some known carcinogens such as asbestos. And if your home is more than 30 years old, it may have asbestos in it. Now, that's fine, unless you remodel and then grind or sand the asbestos contained in your floor tiles, maybe your insulation, possibly the roofing materials that could create a hazardous dust. That could eventually lead to cancer. In today's Angie's List report, 
how to deal with asbestos safely. Asbestos is a natural mineral. It's a good insulator and it's fire resistant, which is why it's still used in some building materials. If it's big enough to see, you can't breathe it. And so it's the fine dust that's produced when it's mishandled is a problem. If you have peeling plaster or drywall, or if you plan a project that requires grinding or sanding or sawing that'll produce dust, you should have those materials tested for asbestos. As long as the asbestos is intact, as we talked about earlier, not a big problem. But you got a little leakage from the upstairs bathroom and the stuff is kind of peeling off and all, that could be serious. Before the project starts, find a qualified asbestos inspector. The county or state health department could probably help. Many states require that inspection companies be licensed. Also, it's not a bad idea to find out if they're also lead paint certified because that requires similar training and tools. Before work begins, ask your pro how the dust will be confined to the work area and separate from the rest of your home. Leonard recommends a direct approach. I want to make sure that you don't release any more dust into my home than what you would do if they were, you knew they were lead-based paint. There. And you do that and you'll be safe. Now, experts recommend sealing off the entire work area with plastic sheeting. Leave the heating or the air conditioning systems off when the work is being done. Now, once the work's complete, Angie says it's a good idea to have the air tested to make sure there aren't any microscopic asbestos fibers that are still floating around. Better safe than Better sorry. Safe. You don't want